and welcome to my little Christmas holidays Overwatch little chat thing that I'm about to be doing. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am Matt Holly, and I will be talking about Overwatch today. And if you don't know about Overwatch, it's a first-person shooter, arena-style uh, video game. It can be on PC and console. And it is wildly popular, esports, competitive gaming, and just all around, it is a very fun game. Everyone loves it. It won uh, 2016 Game of the Year, I believe. Some people aren't so happy about that, but too bad. And uh, all around, it's a very good game, and I very much enjoy it. Um, and one interesting thing I want to say about the game is Blizzard, the creators of the game, uh, the way they do their lore is much different from other games, such as World of Warcraft. Um, since this is an online-only game, you you can't really learn through the game about you know the characters or about the game or about the universe. Instead, th what Blizzard decided to do is they release uh, content via videos, short uh, short films, short movies, short uh, stories, comics, etc., etc. And recently, over the holidays, what they did is they released a holiday. Uh, themed comic kind of showing you what everyone's doing on their holidays and what it did was it revealed something kind of interesting that many people nobody actually knew about one particular character Tracer uh, if you don't know Tracer is kind of like the flagship flagship uh, face of the game you know when you think of Overwatch you kind of think of Tracer because she's a very very popular very very loved character in the game well what they recently uh, released is she very might possibly definitely is gay so a lot of people seem to not be so fond of the fact that Tracer is gay in fact some people think that it ruins her as a character whether that's because they could no longer stand a chance with her I don't know maybe they thought they were gonna get somewhere with Tracer a uh, person that doesn't exist, but I don't know. Personally, I don't really see any problem whatsoever with it. You got 20 plus characters. I mean, it's, there's bound to be at least one of them that turns out to be gay. So I don't really see quite a problem with it. Plus, it adds a little bit of more diversity in the group. And uh, they're not really forcing it on people. Like some people would say is like, oh, they're just forcing uh, gay people into our game or they're forcing gay couples or they're forcing interracial couples or black couples or Mexican couples or you know stuff like that they're not forcing it onto us they're just casually dropping it in one of their comics that in all honesty I never even read until I heard about this uh, Tracer being gay thing I didn't even really care about them I was like oh Blizzard's doing comics okay yeah I guess I'll start reading them and then I read this one, I was like, oh, they got quite a few out. So that's a thing now. I had no idea. So it's not like they're forcing it into the game. It's not going to change anything, you know? Tracer's not going to start running around with double-sided female objects, you know, for pleasure. You know, she's, she's not going to be dragging her body across every girl that walks by. However, I will say it will definitely confirm some of the things that the uh, fan fiction people have created, and it will definitely get them off a little, uh, or it'll definitely make them a little more happy about some of this. Their dreams may come true with Tracer and, say, Widowmaker, who, personally, if I were to pick someone to be gay, I totally thought it was going to be Widowmaker, because she kind of had that uh, bondage sort of thing, kind of crazy, you know, oh, let me just tie you up with my grappling hook sort of thing, you know. But that's just me, you know, what do I know? I'm just a guy in his room. Bottom of the line is, it's a video game. Suck it up. Just play the damn game you love. Don't let some stupid comic that changes absolutely nothing ruin a game for you because it, it really, it literally doesn't matter. You could just play the exact same game and nothing would change. Not one thing would change except for you just being a damn crybaby and that's, you know what, that's you. You, you do what you want to do. Now if they were to start doing like rainbow skins and 
rainbow weapons. Like if Reinhardt's new weapon, instead of being a giant hammer, was now just him waving a big rainbow flag around and his shield popped up and it's a big rainbow and everyone's stuff was rainbow and flowers and stuff. Well, that might be a little bit more forced than just dropping it casually in a story. That's taking it to a whole other level. You know, in the comic, they're just subtly dropping it in. No big deal. Just, you know, watch, read the comics, flip to the next page. But if it's in the game and they're really forcing it in the game, that's too much. That's too far. And that's not okay. So, these are uh, what I thought. This is what I thought about the game. Um, I like the holiday kind of little thing they're doing. I'm kind of, it's kind of interesting that they're only really doing Christmas stuff. It is Blizzard. They're allowed to do whatever they want. But personally, I think uh, if they threw in some other holidays, I thought uh, I thought that'd be pretty cool, you know? Like uh, Reaper could be Jewish and instead of saying die in his ultimate, he could be saying dreidel, you know, kind of like dreidel, 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 something like that, you know? It, I think that would be kind of humorous. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. That would really help me out and it would really help me know how I'm doing in my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, happy holidays everybody. Rifle. So basically it's run around the map, try and get behind the enemy, kill them, repeat. It's, it's a very lather, rinse, repeat style of combat in multiplayer at least for Team Deathmatch. And you guys